Kyle Bradshaw from Cruiser Customizing with this forward lighting tip of the week. Most cruiser riders like the traditional driving light bar. Here's some examples from Cobra, National Cycle, Custom World, Show Chrome Accessories, and a couple from Curry Aachen. The traditional driving light bars that you've just seen are some of the most popular ways that people put forward facing lights on their motorcycle. Traditional driving light bars have been the way for metric cruisers and Harley Davidson's alike for a long time. But with newer additions to the market, like the club style bike that this Memphis Shades Bullet offers, the traditional driving light isn't really the look that people are going for sometimes. So they piece them together. With National Cycle, Curryock, and Cobra, they all have individual driving lights. And there are many, many clamp options in order to affix driving lights to your motorcycle. And then you get into wiring. Curryockin has an awesome complete wiring harness that will allow you to plug just about anything together. But as you can see, there's lots of pieces and lots of complications when it comes to piecing together your own driving light kit. If you're looking to mount driving lights anywhere other than the tra traditional light bar location, Pia has it made. They've put together a couple kits that fit just about every motorcycle out there. This here is the Pia 005 Triad Multi-Fit Light Kit with Bracket System. This kit comes with everything that you need to install driving lights on the front of your motorcycle. Installation is super simple. Essentially you have these two wires that go positive and negative to the battery. This white wire to a fused positive source so that you have lights that turn on and off with the motorcycle so you don't have to worry about running your battery down. These are the brackets that the lights will mount to. You've got the lights themselves wire harness that connects to the lights, and all of the necessary mounting hardware. These particular kits offer you features that aren't necessarily available with a traditional driving light bar. You can aim them individually, up, down, sideways. You can maximize your footprint by adjusting your position of your lights, higher on the forks, lower on the forks, down by the axle nut. You can put these lights just about anywhere. In addition to placement, these lights are going to turn with your wheel. So wherever your wheel's facing, that's where your driving lights are going to be shining. So what differentiates these two kits from Pia? The 1100X from Pia allows you to have a more spread out light pattern. pattern. Whereas the 005 is a more directed beam, it will allow you to have visibility further down the road. Let's take a quick look today and I'll show you how those units are going to mount on this VTX 1300. Keep in mind that the installation of this kit is dang near identical for just about every model of motorcycle on the market. Straight out of the package, this is what you've got. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to remove these two screws, remove this base. All right, here I am removing this mount. Now I've got that bracket taken off the bottom of this PIA light. I need to find out exactly where I'm going to mount these so I know which direction I want to mount this bracket. I can come down here and I can attach the light like this and mount to the bottom axle bolt. I can come up to the top here, mount the bulb sideways and go to either the front or rear fender bolt. I could take this and flip it upside down, sideways, stick it right. underneath the triple tree. The mounting options are endless when it comes to using this PIA multi-fit kit. For this particular installation, I'm going to go ahead and remove this bolt right here, attach the mount, and then attach my driving light to the mount right here on the rear of the fender. Now that I've got my bracket mounted, I'm going to take, now I'm going to put a single spacer here on the top, drop this bolt down through, just like that. I'm going to take my nylock nut, attach it here at the bottom, and then snug things up. Alright, now that I've got this nice and secure, I'm going to go ahead and repeat the same process on the other side. Now that I've got both these driving lights installed on both sides of the motorcycle, I'm going to go ahead and remove the seat, loosen the tank, and remove this headlight bezel so I can start the wiring process. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use some 11 inch chrome zip ties. I'm going to take the wiring from the back of this light here and I'm going to attach it to my chrome covers. What this is going to do is it's going to allow me to affix this wire to the back side of the fork housing where no one's ever going to see it anyway. And these chrome zip ties are going to look like they belong here on the motorcycle. So here we have the PIA wire loom which you saw on the table in the earlier shot. Now it's really not that difficult. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to take the white, attach that to positive. The black is going to go to negative right down here. I've already loosened my tank, so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take both of the driving light wires, run them up along the frame, along with the switch and the ignition cutout. Right. I'm going to mount the switch onto the tank, and then we'll finalize the connections up front. 
now that I've got the wires run up the back side of the fork here I'm going to go ahead and take a round bullet connector and a t-tap connector to the white and black wires here from the PIA kit I'm going to go ahead and attach these and then poke them through the front of the headlight so I can attach them to the PIA wiring harness all right now that I've got the wires from both the wire harness as well as the lights run up into the headlight here I'm going to take the white and white connect those two together and then I'm going to take the black and the black and connect those two together I'm going to do that on both sides and then we should be able to test our connections all right so I've got the wire harness run from the battery up under the tank I've secured my switch you can hear up underneath the tank the wires have been routed up into the headlight, black to black, white to white. We should be able to hit our key now. Hit the switch, presto. Driving lights have been successfully installed. Now I'm gonna go ahead and replace the headlight, button it all back up, cut the lights, and we'll take a look and see what this thing really looks like. All right, now that we have everything buttoned up inside the headlight, we're putting the final adjustments here. Now it's time to ride into the night with the PIA headlight and driving light kit. As you can see, P has done a great job to improve your visibility on the road. Thank you for watching this forward lighting cruiser customizing tip of the week. Until next week, take care and ride safe.